So now that the trailer hitch is installed, it's time to get wiring set up so I will have brake lights and turn signals working on the trailer. Uh, this is supposed to be a, a pretty plug and play kit. I haven't used a kit like this before on any car. So pretty basic. You've got your hardware kit consisting of a pair of small zip ties, <laughs> one large zip tie, instructions, and a big one piece bundle for your whole wiring kit. It looks like it plugs right in. So this shouldn't be too difficult at all. So you basically remove the back panels and little tail light covers. So we'll pull these panels off and the two covers. Now we may need to run wires down low in here. So I'm going to go ahead and take the spare out to start with. All right, there's panels off. Everything's out of the back. It's a little dirty. Uh, next we got So you can't really see the connection because this plastic plate right here blocks it, but it blocks view of it. But if you just grab this cable that you see, it's the only one there, reach behind, there's a tab. It's actually easy to press. It's not as hard as the ones behind the stereo. And then you pull it out. There you go. You got the connector you're looking for. And then, of course, on these, you know, that connector we just disconnected, it goes in one side, and then that goes into the back of the light. Real simple. Okay, I got the wiring harness kind of separated out a little bit. You know, this section that goes to the trailer will be in the middle, roughly. Uh, instructions say the green wire is the passenger side. Um, that's so when you turn your turn signal on, it'll match what the car is doing. So, I also think I'm going to take off this panel along here. And maybe I can run the wire from side to side, kind of underneath that. And it looks like the previous owner had already had it off. It's not even really held down. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> the previous owner also had some car stereo amps in here. I got ground wires cut back here. I got some white wires that don't look factory tucked in there. They don't go anywhere. They just anyway. All right. So this just has three plastic push pins um, but then there's a screw that goes in there and there to kind of lock it in place but my oh they're broken off on my car let's make sure it's clipped in there you know, I might even put a zip tie around that. I wonder if that's what the, ins the instructions don't mention that yet, but I'll look through them. Because that doesn't seem like it's clipped at all. Small zip ties it came with don't actually fit around here. They're a little, just a little bit too small. Alright, 
heard it click, so that's good enough. That side's done. That's the easy side. On this side, you mount this. This is some sort of controller box here. It also has to be grounded to the metal frame of your car somewhere. They do give you a little self self drilling, self tapping screw for your ground if you want to. So I'm going to pull this whole panel off. Up here, looks like it's an 8 millimeter Allen head. Back behind here, we've got you know, the speaker. Um, on my car, it looks like they had those white wires were actually audio connection tapped off the rear speakers. And they must have ran that as the input on their amp, which is very poor quality. I think I'm going to take the ground um, to that little bolt you see there, right at the top of the relay. So I don't have to drill any holes. I'll see if that reaches. It probably will. I'm not making these as tight as I can, just just around there. Enough that it instructions say to use a zip tie to hold this in place. Um, if you found the right position, you could put a screw in there. I'll probably just wrap it around this factory wire harness. There we go. Just gonna hang in there from that tab. Oh, there it is. Uh, the little controller is just hanging in here from the zip tie. I don't think it's going to hit anything as I drive. If it rattles a lot, I'll have to adjust that. And then the wire for ground just goes underneath that. Uh, you saw me just use a 10 millimeter socket. Get that all changed out. Didn't have to drill anything. Fits just fine. So. Basic trim pieces are put back together. I'll um, put all the storage in there and then I'll just keep this wiring bundle in my little foam storage box. Well, it works. That was a super easy install. I'm really happy with it. I would definitely recommend this kit. I will include some links in the description if you would like to look for the same one. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hey, Toyota, hey, Toyota, in a pagoda.